Why you had to cheat on me? Why you had to cheat on me? Why, why you had to cheat on me? Oh man, good morning. I go for us. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. All right. We got the 90s RB playing in the background. We got the nice, beautiful um, view at the McQueen Palace right now. Let me go ahead and turn this down just a tad bit just so we can make sure we avoid that copyright. Yeah. All right, so, so I got right here on the plate served up of what we take every morning daily is vitamins, the antidepressants, and you know, the vitamin C powder uh, that has a bunch of other vitamins and electrolytes in it. Okay, inside the water, all right, hydration, you feel me? Uh, good things for your body. I just ordered some more CMOS in the mail. Uh, so that should be very coming. If you guys don't know what CMOS is, look it up, man. It's one of the most beneficial, you know, natural supplements that come from the earth. Um, that you can take, you feel me, for your body, for your energy, for so many other health benefits. Uh, that's why I said to do your research. So I got that coming in the mail, okay? Uh, very delicious flavor. I'll give you guys the flavor. I forgot what the hell it was called, uh, you know, in another video. But uh, we have a very interesting day today, man, okay? I got, you know, the beater on. You know what I'm saying? I got the den, the Tolgies and the Tolgies and it. Uh, fits on right now, except it's not like the tight black t-shirt, you feel me? It's kind of like the reverse, you feel me? Uh, I got the black on the bottom, you know, the white on the top, even though the, the, the you know, and the pants was gray. I, I got the, I got the real Toji fit too, okay? Don't get it messed up, I do, okay? Um, you know, so, uh, I'm gonna put that on another day, you feel me? Because I really do be feeling like Toji when I'm in, in, in that damn gym. If you guys don't know who Toji is, man, go watch, uh, the anime Jujutsu Kaisen, man. That boy is who everybody should strive to be. If you're a male, you should strive to be looking like that dude in the gym, okay? <laughs> That's who you should be looking like, okay? But anywho, okay, let's go ahead and take these vitamins, all right? We got a very big day ahead of us. It's like 8.30 in the morning right now, all right? This is a damn, bro, get out of my drink, man. What was it, something, something got to mess up the party, okay? All right, antidepressants first. Mm. Okay, let's get this iron out the way. Gummies. I need to taste the gummies because they're just simply delicious. You feel me? But, like I said, I'm not going to cut or edit any of this stuff. I really want it to just be the experience. I want the experience to be like you guys are just sitting here with me, okay, in real time. Because, you know, the camera isn't gonna do it justice when it comes to how beautiful this really looks in real life. Sometimes I'd be sitting there working, doing my second channel videos, and I'll look to my left and I, just, I still can't even really believe that I live here, you know? This view is just in, honestly insane, incredible. Tropical, like, just it's just beautiful, man. It really is. I know I've said in other videos that I can't believe that I live here, and I still say that. But I feel like when we do that as humans, that we're kind of subconsciously discrediting all the hard work that we have done to achieve whatever it is that we supposedly can't believe we have, you know? Uh, for example, if you're just like, oh, I can't believe I got this car. Well, you should, you better believe it. You better believe it. Because you put in all the hard work to get it. You put in all the reps. You put in all the sleepless nights, the early mornings, okay? The blood, the sweat, the tears. You did all those things and you took the steps and you made the decisions and you took the initiative to do all those things to achieve whatever goal it may be that you wanted, okay? Even if it's a small goal in your mind, you feel me? Like, like you know, I don't know. Any small goal that you may have accomplished that, you know, in your mind is a big feat. And you may sit there and think to yourself, oh man, you know, I can't believe I got this. I feel like that's subconsciously telling yourself that we're not worthy of having it. You are. You're very worthy of having it because most people aren't gonna take the initiative and the time and the steps and the discipline needed to 
you know, accomplish their goals. They're not. So uh, I very much can believe that I am here because I worked my ass off, okay? And I did it my damn self. And I'm proud of myself, you know? I went through a lot of terrible, you know, unfortunate ups and downs. But, you know, at the end of the day, were they really terrible if, they, if I ended up here? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but I always had you guys, you know what I'm saying? That, that's really, really, that's what really the amazing thing is, you feel me? Uh, because genuinely, and I'm not saying this to kiss y'all ass, this is just the truth. Like, I genuinely wouldn't be here without y'all, you know? I wouldn't be able to be. You know, the constant loyalty uh, through every state, single stage of my, you know, career, my journey, has only been possible because you guys have still decided to click on my face every time I post a video, you know? So, uh, I am very, very grateful for that. You know, I, 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 I don't know, man. I told you guys this a lot of times. I'm not trying to get sappy on y'all early in the morning, but it's just like, I, I genuinely really look at you guys like my family, man. I really do, you know? Because I don't hang out with anybody. I don't know if you guys can tell at this point. And I know there's new Aqua Force members, but I know OG Aqua Force members know at this point, man, I, I really I really don't hang out with anybody. I don't associate with anybody. You know, uh, anybody that you may see me vlog or film with, they're just associates in my mind. I don't call anybody my friend. I don't use the word friend loosely, okay? Uh, I have one best friend, and his name is Brenton Matthews, okay? And uh, that's one dude that I can trust in, with my life. Everybody else just really associates, okay? They may think that we're full best friends. They may think that we're, you know, super close and this and that, but we're not. Obviously, you got people like Flight, you got people like Zeus that I really would genuinely call a real friend. But like, you know, I'm saying someone who I can really genuinely trust, you know, if I'm hanging off of the side of a cliff and I, and, you know, I got one, left, one last phone call to call somebody to come and help me, I know it's gonna be Brenton, you feel me? So, um, so I say all that to say that, you know, besides Brenton and my, and my mom and my dad, my family, of course, I have I really, the only people I can think of that I genuinely love with all of my heart is, is y'all, you know, dead ass, you know? So take that information, do with that information what you want or what you will, but, uh, I really, really look at you guys like a family man. Even when I meet y'all in person, it's like the impact that I have on y'all, the deep gasps, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and the oh my God, and, I, and you know, the, the hugs and the, the jumping and the, the excitement that I see in y'all face is just such a humbling experience to see how much of an impact I have on you guys, man. You know, and it's so humbling to see that you guys feel the same way back that I feel about y'all, you know? Really, really, truly amazing because I can remember there was days when I dreamed of having, of having that, and now it's here, man. You know. So, anyways, I don't want to babble too much, okay? Because we do have a lot of things to take care of today. So we finna do a chest day today in the gym, okay? We finna go to the gym first, and today will be the chest day. Finally, I'm filming something other than you know leg day or uh, or damn shoulder day, um, you know. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So we're going to do, like I said, it's chest day today. So we're going to do just a quick, you know, upper body, you know, chest dynamic stretch, whatever the hell they call it, you know what I'm saying? Because um, like I said, I don't, I don't like doing too much eccentric stuff, you feel me? I'm just trying to get here, get to the workouts and get out, you feel me? Um, and honestly, I hate when people be taking up all the damn machines. So we're here early, so there shouldn't be no interruptions. But you know, there's always that one dumbass that's just in there. No, he not, first of all, he not even doing the workouts right. That's what be pissing me off. That's what be making me so mad about people who be hogging a machine. Anyway, okay, we don't want to waste too much time. Uh, we want to get to the machines, get in, get the tasks done, and get out of here because, like I said, we got a long, it's not a long day today, man. You know, every day is a long day. But, anywho, okay, let's do, uh, I do this specific workout right here, or not workout, stretch. Where you kind of just, you plant your body against the wall, okay? You lay flat, or not, you know, you get what I'm trying to say. Plant against the wall, okay? Put your arm up flat, 90 degree angle, and then kind of just stretch. Keep your chest attached to the wall while you turn. And it really just, uh, you could feel the muscle connecting 
um, you know, your arm to your shoulders is really stretching. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, it's warmed up. I ain't gonna lie. That's definitely warms it up. Uh, you just hold that for like 20 seconds on both sides. You're gonna be ready. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be ready. I, you don't really gotta do too, you know, too much when it comes to uh, the chest for real. Um, and I might do that whole little, I forget what it's called, but uh, uh, this thing right here, uh, you know what I'm saying? I always do this. No yoga mat needed, okay? Let's not be, let's not be weenies here, all right? Uh, I don't know if y'all heard that. Damn. Oh. oh, man, got to do that every time. There's going to be a crack every time, you know? Oh, my God. So it's either I do that now or later on in the midst of me doing an action, you'll hear a crack. And it's like, you know, what the hell is that happening for? You feel me? It's not like a dude is like 50 years old. But anywho, okay. Enough talk. Let's get to the chest workout. All right. I don't know if y'all can see the workout fully, okay? But uh, this is, I think, what they call from bottom to top. Um, cable, chest pies, whatever. Okay. You guys will know the workout once you see it. All right. Better put some LA stuff right now. I think we're finna go on a bulk, man. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta really make a decision. Cause I really don't, last time I went on a bulk, towards the end of the bulk, I started to do, you know, go from a lean bulk to a dirty bulk, and it just wasn't good. Because, you know, that's just not good for your health, man. You don't eat a bunch of unhealthy stuff just cause you're trying to put on weight, trying to get the extra calories and this and that, you know, yeah, obviously it's a hack. It's a hack sometimes, you know? And I may even do it up here and there on the next bulk. I'm not even gonna lie to you, cause sometimes, you know, when you get so far into the bulk and those calories start to raise, that calorie goal, you know, it gets up to like 4,000 calories or 4,500 calories a day. You know, sometimes it's just extremely hard to do that with, uh, <clears throat> with regular groceries, you know, and it takes a lot of time because you know, you're, you're, cooking, you're cooking all the food and whatnot. So, you know, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start the bulk lean. I mean, I'm gonna do most of the bulk lean, I'm not gonna lie, because it's just not good for you to just be knocking down all that nasty ass food. Um, so I'll figure it out. I'll probably just make, uh, you know what I'm saying, a lot of really carb-heavy diets. I mean, uh, carb-heavy meals, because uh, it's so much easier to knock out calories, like like pastas and things like that. So, uh, but yeah. Anyways, enough yapping. Like I said, we got the bottom to top chest flies, cable chest flies. So we are at I think 17.5 pounds um, right now until failure. That's what it says on my progressive overload tracker, at least. Okay, um, yeah, two sets to failure, okay. Um, but I honestly am gonna change that soon. I don't feel like that's efficient enough. But you know, like I said, we're gonna go on a bulk, so the weight's gonna raise regardless. So, anyways, let's do the first set right now. We get dough playing. Got Draco the ruler. Rest in peace, Draco. <clears throat> like I said, most of the time, I really just be listening to rock music or metal music specifically when it comes to the gym because it just gives me the most, you know, super sane energy boost I need to push through these sets. But, you know, every now and then I'll, I'll get my, my LA playlist going because it also helps. We're gonna do uh, a second set for this. Um, like I said, I don't really know the scientific names for a lot of these damn workouts, so don't sit there and be the damn goofball anal guy about 
the damn scientific name. As long as McQueen, it's not called that. I don't, I don't care, bro, okay? I really don't give a damn. As long as the workout gets done, who cares what the name is called, okay? For all those types of people, do you do that workout? Do you even do the workout? It's funny you know all the information, but you don't even work out as much as I do. You're not consistent. You're not where I'm at. So you can know the names all you want. You can be anal about all these damn different scientific names all you want. But are you doing what I'm doing? Chances are you're probably not. So you need to, you know what I'm saying, get your priorities straight, my brother, my sister, whoever you may be. Damn, Bobber just walked in right now. Big old play, you know what I'm saying? Distractions though, let's stay locked in, all right? Second set, we're about to do that. The second set of what we just did, and then after that, we got these things called, uh, or what I call them, the cable downright chest flies, okay? We got cable chest flies and then the cable downright chest flies. So the cable chest flies is just the regular, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then the downright ones I'm talking about is more so just like this, you feel know I me? Mean? So, <clears throat> knock out this second set, we can move on to that. So, ow. I'm twist my ankle for the stupidest reason right there. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Cable chest flies, this is one of my favorite um, cable workouts or chest workouts. Cause this, I honestly feel like when it comes to most workouts, but especially with the chest, the cable workouts are, are better than dumbbells. You know, I, I have grown my chest so much more from cable workouts than dumbbell workouts. Um, and I think it's because it's tension all the way through the workout. You know what I'm saying? From, you know, from the pulling to the pushing, you know, um, the whole way through the workout, it's tension. You know, so <clears throat> I, I, I like that. Um, I think it helps with the muscle growth. I know it helps with the muscle growth because, like I said, I've seen way more growth from cable workouts than any other workout. So, if you guys are really looking to grow your chest, I really suggest that one, you go, go join the Mega McQueen Academy because even though you're seeing some of the workouts I do, you're not seeing the workouts and the workout routine I did to get to this point. Okay, this is another advanced um, workout routine uh, past the workout routine. Like, I probably like four or five programs past. The workout our routine, oh, well, not four or five, three, probably maybe maybe three uh, workout routines, programs, past the one that I did to really, you know what I'm saying, take me to the next level in my fitness journey. Um, so, you know, you, you gotta, you can't skip the process, okay? So you should join the Mega McQueen Academy, okay? For a very low price, okay? And it teaches you about the meal plans um, and also about how to track your calories, uh, tracking macros, because that's very important. If you're not tracking your macros, don't expect growth. Simple as that, okay? If you're not tracking your macros, I'm telling you right now, you are not going to grow. You may get a little, little bit of growth here and there, a little bit, but if you want real, real, real results, like the results that you, you know, look at other people and you, um, but you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't compare yourself to other people because everyone's genetics are different, but if you, you know, the results that you look, you know, when it comes to your body goals, when you see other people, uh, like I told you earlier, my goal was to really look like that dude Toji from uh, from JJK. You know what I'm saying? That that dude, I just feel like that's the perfect build for real. Not too big, but lean enough and big enough to where you look just like an athletic ass build. You know what I'm saying? The boppers love it. You feel me? Um, you look good in any clothing that you wear. Okay? Because really, I think uh, Tristan Tate said this: the most uh, fashionable thing that you can do is get in shape. Okay, because most things you could wear the most simple thing and it'll still look fashionable if you're in shape. Okay, but that's another topic. Um, you know what I'm so make sure you guys go join that, man. It's for a very low, low affordable price. And uh, if you're not tracking your macros, bro, do not expect to grow. I'm telling you right now, until I started tracking my macros, that's when I really started to see changes. Okay, I was stuck in a perpetual plateau. 
um, before I started to do that. So I teach you guys all of that in the Megan McQueen Academy. Go join them right now. It's a bunch of other men in there right now and growing their lives and changing lives as we speak. And uh, it's for a very little affordable price. You gotta get in right now because once we hit 100 members, man, it is raising up to $100. And that's gonna happen soon. So get in right now because once you lock in, that price will be locked in for the rest of your life, okay? Anywho, enough talking. so funny when you see boppers coming inside the gym, okay? This is used to knock down, all right? Uh, and now they walking by acting like they don't see you. That shit is so funny, man. Um, but, you know, it's all good because I already got the coochie, baby. It's already over. You already got knocked down. The mission's already accomplished. You feel me? Um, if I get another angle where the girl I'm talking about, um, is you know invisible then i will do that so y'all can see because i mean she, she she do got a dumper you know i've already knocked a few people up out of here man out of, out of this gym so um it's just funny seeing them walking around talking to other guys and <laughs> you know continuing to be boppers um and just bopping around for real oh uh, after I'd, i had already knocked down you know because you know girls man y'all know how girls are man they start acting brand new they start acting like when, you know, once you knock them down, they're either obsessed or they just start, they just, you know, go do what thudders do. And just go ahead and get knocked down by other guys, you feel me? Uh, so, it's always so, I mean, me, the way I look at it, I'm very comfortable in my skin, right? So, I'm not, I used to, I used to be, when, when I was younger, I used to be real subconscious and like, you know, thinking about, uh, you know, uh, not allowing, or not being able to walk in the room of someone who I used to have a past with, you feel me? Um, and just being wanting really to just walk away and just avoid that interaction at all, that possible interaction. But now, uh, I don't give a damn. It's, you know, I'm not gonna allow anybody's presence, whether it be male or female, um, to stop me from walking into a room, okay? Um, you're going to feel the energy uh, of me being fully confident in who I am and what I, uh, what I bring to the table. And I'm gonna make you uncomfortable. You know what I'm trying to say? From being in the same room. You know what I'm saying? As me. I'm going to make you uncomfortable. You feel me? What you giving me a hug for? What? I said, what you giving me a hug for? My head? I said, what are you giving me a hug for? I was going to give you a kiss. Like, hi. A kiss? What you, like, what you, hi, for, I for what? Forever. I know. You be acting brand new. Well, how do I act new? Man, stop playing. You what? know, you know exactly, girl. Why? What you mean, why? I've seen you around before? What you mean you see me around? I don't come to the gym last, time. What, I come at six. I know, but what was the last thing I texted you? Don't play audio, get, huh? The little audio? With the little audio, yeah. You were yeah. saying you was playing, I thought we were supposed to go on a day. You was playing games and all that. I was Okay, so you trying to go on, you, you trying to go on one for real? Or are you going to play? I'm not trying to play, it's just I don't, like, I just feel like I don't have the time right now. Mm -hmm. not, really? Right now. Oh, well, mm -hmm. didn't you go on a date with the homie, like, not too long ago? Mm -hmm. Swag boy Q? To me, ew. You want to? That's like my homie. It's not like a date like that. You sure? Because what I heard on that date was not what homies do. Mm -hmm. So what I heard that y'all did on that date was not what homies do. <laughs> it was just a little one day. Okay. Like but I thought you ain't had the time. Huh? I thought you ain't had the time though. I mean, to meet someone, you know. And meet someone and kiss them and. I mean, one day, see the vibes. Uh huh. And to see if it's worth. So was it not worth it with me then? I mean, it was that one day, it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. I mean, I guess, okay. whatever. Good? I'm good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, bye. Yeah, that was, you couldn't have written a better story than that, Uncle Force. You really couldn't have. <laughs> you feel me? Did I get that all that? Yep. You really couldn't have written a better story, you know? Uh, I might just go ahead and use that for the thumbnail for real, cause she's still right in the way. Um, but yeah, man, you know, I'm not gonna let these boppers get away with all this. I'm just not, I'm just not, okay? But like I said, man, she already got knocked on the first night. Um, 
And then she went on a date with the homies, uh, Swag Boy Q. <laughs> And cause she went ghost after the first time, after after she got knacked. And then uh, you know what I'm saying, after we was uh, we were supposed to go on a, on a few more dates, and then she acted brand new, you know what I'm saying? And then she just right now just acted like she ain't she ain't know what I was talking about, you know? Um, so then, you know, literally two weeks later I see her on a uh, I see the homie Swag Boy Q and he talking about he he knocked her too. You feel me? And uh, I didn't want to like fully call her out, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know I still have somewhat of a heart, but uh, I know the homie knocked down too. So because if I knock, I mean it's really not that far off. You see how she lied about you know? Uh, oh yeah, it was just a date, you know? It was just friends and this and that. We just hanging out as friends. And then you know when I called her out for making out with the dude, I mean you know that's that's something more that you that's something you do more. No, that doesn't sound like a, a friendly uh, interaction, baby, you know? Stuttering over words when that girls just be lying, fool. <laughs> I'm not afraid to call these bobbers out, man. Like, don't let no girls sit there and play with y'all before. Do not let no, this is what I mean about how I teach y'all to have the confidence to be able to do what I just displayed. You know what I'm saying? And not allow any girl to, you know, play with you. Uh, and don't chase after no girls. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, you feel me? So, do not chase after no girls, man. Uh, if a girl is playing around, you move on. Uh, you move on to the next one, okay? You move on. There's three billion of these bobbers out in this world, okay? But she thought she was gonna just come over here and, you know, use my energy um, for free like that. Nah, baby. You know what I'm saying? You don't just get to play around with McQueen and walk back into my life and think everything is just peaches and cream. That's not how it goes. You know what I'm saying? So, get all that damn weirdo stuff out of here. She could take that one back to the crib. All right, because um, girls be on dates talking about, oh my God, I, 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 look, I think you're so amazing, and this, and you're just such a great guy, and, you know, this stuff, like, you're just, oh my God, like, you have so much things going for you, and this and that, and then they just want to act brand new, like, <laughs> yeah, you talk about she ain't got time, but then she going to, anyways, man, you guys get the deal. This is hilarious, I couldn't read it better. I really hope that, you know, she was positioned well in that thumbnail, um, but, anyway. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm so glad I got that on camera. Anyways, man, let's move on to this next set. Real, real good. I love chest workouts, especially when I'm wearing the beater. It just feel like your chest popping out from the top of your shirt, you know? Walk around like Hercules. All right, y'all. Now it's peg day. Oh, damn. I'm riding the homie's way. Hold up. Oh, my fault, bro. All right. Um, yeah, man. Um, saying right now it's peg day. You feel me? Uh, I don't know where I left off at last time. But we're about to find out. That's why I got the progressive overload tracking. You guys really need to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because so you don't just come in, in in the gym blindly thinking that you're going to remember the weight you left off on, on uh, the last time you were in the gym. That's not how it's just, you know what I'm saying? We got too many things that we think about every single day, you know, on a daily basis. Um, uh, I got another bobber texting me right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's crazy how the game goes, like a force, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to always focus on yourself, bro. Cause they always gonna circle back. Don't never chase no bopper if she's playing games, bro. Okay? Cut her. Cut her and move on. There are three billion other boppers. I forgot this show even existed. You know what I'm saying? The one that just came on. Um, you know what I'm saying? I got this one text me right now and tell me, yeah, definitely still on for tonight. You know? And it is on. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm about to knock down. You know what I'm saying? For, forget the other one. All right? Uh, I'm sorry. I go lie, y'all. I'm, I'm, I, can't even, I can't even sit here and act like that wasn't an ego boost. Because it was. Okay? It's nothing better than knowing that you are a good person, knowing that you treated everybody correctly, and then they play games with you and fumble you, and now they want to come back and act like everything is peaches and cream. No. I'm not the same McQueen I used to be. Okay, like I said in the past vlogs, I've learned so much and gained so much more respect for myself, self-esteem, healed, 
Yo, on another level. I, I, I value my pace so much. You know, if someone comes in my life again, tries to, whether it's male or female, okay? Uh, you, no, you get one chance. You get one chance to play with me, man. You get one chance, all right? There's so many other details that happen with this girl. You guys might be like, McQueen, you only went on one date? Nah, because I'm not even, I'm not even trying to sit here and, and do too much, you know, talking because I don't even want to give her that much energy. But, uh, you know, it's so much things that happened in detail with that Swag Boy Q story. So many things that happened in detail with my date. So many things that she said that just go into play that would make a lot more sense. But, you know, regardless, it's still just hilarious. Um, you know, she's seen the gains. She's seen me looking good. She probably saw me on the ground continuing to grow. She probably saw me on YouTube continuing to grow. You know, the boppers always gonna come back when they see that they messed up on the winning team. Anywho, all right? Um, but like I said, I don't know, know where you left off, but don't just come in here blindly, man, okay? Write in your notepad, title at the top, progressive overload, tr overload tracker, okay? And uh, each workout you do, okay, every time you come to the gym, write down what weight you left off on. So that when you come back in the gym, you can progressive overload from there, whether that be more reps, you know, slower reps, lower weight, more reps, uh, you know, or, or more weight um, and less reps, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, and just also to just remember what you, what you left, uh, left off on when it came to the weight. So this is how you set up on the peg deck, man, okay? Make sure you grab one side first, pull it in the middle, okay? Hold it, and then grab the other side, pull it in the middle, and then start at that position. You feel me? So let me put this back so I can put my, I can put my headphones on. I tried my hardest not to do, you know, BS reps on those last two ones. Let's go. This is the chest press machine that I do. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You put the plates on it. You feel me? You got to see one of these before. I'm going to sit there and explain it to you. I guess if I built this damn shit. Okay. But um, I usually use the one in the other room. But I feel like this one pushes harder or makes me push harder. Um, or it just feels better. It's more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go in with this one. Um, and it is called the super vertical chest press. So last time I did 155 pounds. Yeah, like, like, like I said, the thing I love about this machine is that it has this little thing right there. You can kind of push it down and it brings the, you know, saying the handles forward. That's definitely one of the reasons why I love it. Prefer it over the one in the other way room.
actually felt really good. <sighs> Let's get to it, man. All right, y'all. Back on the bulk. So, you know what that means. Carbs are now loud again, okay? So I made this damn shrimp alfredo. I pretty much bust down the entire thing already. Uh, but, you know, I got to get to like 3,500 calories a day now, I think. 3,600, something in my fitness pal. I think something like that. Okay, this is the first day. So I'm finna knock, that, uh, uh, finna knock this down, okay? Finish it, the rest of it. And I think I'm going to end the video off here, man, because we were supposed to go and do something else. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and save that for a separate video because that something else wasn't able to happen because of a certain thing that took place. So, uh, but it can happen tomorrow. So we got a lot of other crazy, a lot of other crazy videos coming. Okay, I told y'all, man, I'm, I'm gonna keep coming with y'all. I'm not even finna talk. I'm not even finna talk. I'm just gonna show y'all. All right. Uh, so, like I said, I'm finna knock this down. That's the end of this video, man. Um, don't. The moral of the story here: Do not ever let no girl tell you or try to move you out of what your domain is as a man. Okay, and don't ever let nobody try to shame you out of it. And what I mean by that is, this is your shit. This is your core. Okay, whatever happens and whatever rules you set inside your ship, inside your core, is the way it goes. Okay, it is not negotiable. Okay, yes, there's obviously going to be time. I'm not saying that you know you can't leave room for you to improve yourself. All right. But when it comes to the way you operate, you know, on your mission, on your journey as a man, do not ever let no female try to come in and disrespect that, okay? Um, don't, ever, don't ever let her come inside of your crib and your ship and your core and start trying to change the rules. Oh, you need to be more like this or you need to do this or you need to, you know what I'm saying, this, 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 you need to give me more attention. You need to, look, baby, this is how it's going to go when you're dating me, all right? I'm going to do this at this time. I'm going to work at this time. I'm going to give you this amount of attention. This is what comes with dating me. If you don't like it, then get the hell out my damn shit. Get the hell out my damn car. Simple as that, okay? Like me and the homie Goldie were talking about the other day, man. You show up as who you are, all right? And you do not supplicate to what the woman wants you to be. Because if you have any history with dating women, you know that that is the beginning of the end. Think about any time, anyone who has experience with that, where you started to change for the female, tell me it didn't end up being, ending in a shipwreck. Because girls don't know what they want, okay? What they want and what they're attracted to are two totally different things. So just remember that, okay? Um, and I say that to kind of end off the video because of what happened earlier at the gym, <laughs> you know? Females love to sit there and try and come and manipulate you um, you know, earlier in the video, she was talking about some, oh, yeah, you know, uh, trying to act like she didn't remember what she said. Girl, get out of my face with all that, okay? Don't let girls manipulate you, man. Don't let them manipulate you. And have some self-respect. Get some D discipline. So that way, their looks don't persuade you um, out of your position as a man and your morals, okay? Because, you know, um, I'm guilty of it, too, when I was, you know, younger and I didn't have the level of respect that I have for myself now. Where a woman's beauty can, you know, you can kind of excuse a lot of the things just because she's beautiful. No. You know, we all know what happens when you do that. You always lose. So, always stand strong in your boundaries. Stand strong in who you are as a man. And if a girl disrespects you, if she flakes on you, she doesn't take you seriously, she doesn't reciprocate energy, she cut her. It's done. All right? So, I'll leave out with that, man. Um... If you guys want to learn about game, if you guys want to learn about how to become confident, how to get any girl you want, okay, how to be, uh, you know, a, a super stoic, confident man, how to get in shape, uh, you guys really need to join the Megan McQueen Academy, man. First link in the description is for a very affordable price right now. Make sure you go in there and join up because once we hit 100 members, I'm raising the price to $100, okay? We got a group call uh, coming up uh, next week uh, on two, or on Wednesday, and there's a lot of new members joining, okay? And... I just want to keep getting to know y'all, keep turning y'all into pimps. You know what I'm saying? So uh, get in there right now. You're getting so much value. First link in the description. 
I love you guys, man. Make sure you guys like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I will see y'all next video. Ooh. Yeah, that part. Ugly shot with the chop like I was Lonzo Ball. Getting rich, little nigga. That's the easy call. Ain't talking vans, but I got your bitch. She off the wall. After I hit, she getting kicked like a soccer ball, bitch. Yeah, and I'm the shit talker, jet walker. Falling too fast, I'm in the power.